Hey guys, welcome back to Attack on Iron World. Uh, we're back. I missed, I missed last week's. I was uh, much too ill. Sorry, just trying to reach my uh, remote control. I put just a teeny weeny bit out of my uh, reach. So I still am, I still am a little bit gross, but I'm up to uh, at least, at least uh, make a decent effort on recording again. Like you've been seeing the Dragon Ball episodes go up and the uh, Skyrim, which I'm so glad, so glad you all liked. Uh, that's going to continue for the foreseeable future. Uh, I don't, I don't know what we're going to do when Final Fantasy 15 comes out. I guess it depends on what, um, like if we're done with Dragon Ball or if we're done with Skyrim or if we're done with, you know, whatever. Depending on what we're doing, uh, I'll be able to squeeze it in somewhere, but who knows what that's going to be like just yet. Uh, so I missed quite a lot last week, didn't I? Um, really, thinking about what I missed is... Uh, it was interesting. We got a whole lot of Pokemon stuff that was like announced for us, which is pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. I uh, really like the Pokemon stuff. The, uh, the starters were revealed. And I'm still 100% Team Rowlet. Team fucking Rowlet is the best. The Robin Hood looking one, I can't remember their names off the top of my head, uh, is great. Uh, the the lion, the lion thing, like the pro wrestler lion, like fire dark. Mmm. Mmm. It uh, it's okay. I'm glad it's not firefighting again, because firefighting is been overdone. But it was quite like I know to me it feels like it was quite clearly designed to be uh, firefighting, and was like switched at the very last second. It was like, oh, everyone's sick of fire, uh, fire duck. It's. Because, like, really, it's a wrestler, right? And it's not firefighting. That's odd. You know, I mean, I'm just waiting for the day where they just start a Pokemon game and it's like, the freestyle Pokemon ain't fire, grass, and water. Like, whoa. Like, they fuckers are proper. Like, it, it's... It's psychic fairy and dragon. Like, whoa, you know what I mean? Uh, those don't match perfectly well. There are some fireworks going off in the background. Uh, by the way, sorry about if you can hear those. Uh, I doubt you can, though. Uh, so we also found out that the um, you can face like red and blue. Red and blue are going to be in the game, and they're going to be like opponents that we can face at some point, which is super fucking cool. And like they're a little bit older and stuff, so it's like it, it's proof. It's proof that time does indeed pass in the world of Pokemon. You know, it's nothing, it's not just like an endless void of no time available. Like, it, it is time-wise. Like there, there is time. Time passes. So it's very exciting. And I don't know, it's just very cool. He's got a Pikachu, uh, according to the trailer. I hope... I really, really hope. That, um, hang on, go on, give me a second. I just cough up whatever that was. Uh, <laughs> like my one hope is that he has all of like the the team you face in silver and gold. Like, I hope that's the team he has. You know, I hope he has that in particular team. The um. The whole uh, us going to another region is looking less and less, and that does upset me, quite frankly, because I I love the idea. Like, gold and silver were fucking awesome. We're going to another area. I'm not saying we don't, but it's just it's just starting to uh, you know 
it's just kind of starting to look that way. Uh, okay, we're gonna either have to get them off there, which he did quite nicely, and that one should actually die pretty easily because it's not actually on any platform. Fantastic. So, you know, I'm, not, I'm very, very excited for that. I'm very excited for Pokemon. Pokemon Sun and Moon is looking to be great. I am getting Moon as a refresher, and I will be using Team Rowlet. Uh, I will definitely be using Rowlet, although it is Grass Ghost, which kind of kind of makes me have to edit my team a little bit because I want. I know, I've got a bad habit. I've got a bad habit of Pokemon, and basically, I kind of, I kind of build my team as I go and as I like, as I see more things. Like, oh yeah, definitely got that. Like I saw the Alolan Volpix that falls into the ice. Nine towers. Like, oh, hmm, okay, that's a definite possibility. So uh, you know, so I like, I kind of like semi-plan out my team ahead of time, and I do this all the fucking time. I do it all the time. I'm like the worst of it, but uh. I was expecting to have the grass type, because I was hoping that it was going to be grass psychic or something, but it didn't, it wasn't, it ended up being grass ghost, which is cool, which is fine, I'm happy with it, but it's, the thing that is like, uh, sucky, is that I wanted the, uh, Alolan Marowak on my team, like, I wanted that Marowak, because the, the ghost fire Marowak, that's fucking cool, that is cool as fuck, I love that thing. And like, Cubone is one of my favorite Pokemon, and I would love to have a Marowak. I still might have a Marowak, I don't... You know, I might just go... I might just go, you know, team uh, starter list. But at the same time, Grass, Ghost, the Robin, it's got like a bone arrow, it's got like a hoodie. Oh, it's so good. It's such a good Pokemon. It's so good. It's definitely my favorite of the, uh... Of the new Alolan things so far. It's definitely my favorite, uh, regardless of the ones I've seen so far. It's definitely super exciting. The the water one? Um, I can't remember what this name is either. Uh, I quite like the looks of it, actually. The It's Water Fairy, which is interesting, uh, so I'm not a fan of Poplio. But like the mermaid thing, it's, it's kind of cool. I actually kind of like it, kind of dig it. I think that's something that a lot of people will be into, and I'm sure Popolio is going to get a huge, a huge surge of um, extra players. Now its final form has been revealed, and the fire final form is boring as fuck. I, I hate. I, I really. I'm not a fan of the um. Uh, what is it like, Pyroar or something? I don't know what it's called. But it's like I'm very. I, I'm. I. I don't like it. I don't like it. And it. It just feels like it was switched to. Fire Dark, like right at the last second. I don't know. I'm just not a fan of that one. It's not a fan of it. It's probably the weakest uh, design-wise. But uh, I don't know. I'm sure like there's loads of videos that are like, hey, look, this is why it's so good designs. Oh, okay. But I'm not. It's not for me. It's not for me. The uh, what? Well, not much else was really in that trailer worth me talking about. But it, it's. It's looking good. I'm super down to be playing Pokemon Sun and Moon. Uh, I will be Wonder Trading as well, because I love that idea. If there's still Wonder Trading in it, Wonder Trading still in it? Probably. I do like the idea of Wonder Trade. I think it's cool. So I will probably try and Wonder Trade as well. So, you know, if you see me, that's cool. Let me know. Tweet at me telling me I just got your Pokemon. And that'll be fun. Oh, it's a break thing. I thought it was a lift thing. I'm stupid. Here we go. Break. Beautiful. Right, and now we can kill our last guy. Uh, what else came out? Uh, the Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch was revealed. I... I've kind of mellowed out on it now. And I think it's okay. Uh, originally, I was not... Like, I was... Just looking at it, it was kind of like, uh, I don't know who they're trying to compete with. They're making it portable when they're when they're like the clear leaders of the mark of the portable market. It's like, hey, look, we have this great device, the 3DS, which is selling like fucking hotcakes. 
here's another device that can also be portable and makes you not need your 3DS. Like, what? What? Why? Why do I not want my free? Why? Like that's so weird. Like I don't, I just don't get it. Like I won't use it. Like I don't know. I live in the kind of area that I would not trust. I would not trust going outside with with it. Quite frankly, like I don't even go outside with my free with my 3ds unless I'm going to like. Unless I'm like eh, taking my mother to the hospital or something like that, I I don't take it anywhere. But it's like I don't like I don't. I just don't. I just don't get the their obsession with it. And it's like if if it's true and it does end up only living for three hours, then what fucking good is it as a free as a portable device? Like I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't like the controller idea either. Like, I'm not gonna use that. I'm just gonna buy a pro pad. And I'm gonna use the pro pad. So I don't know. I mean, I know I'm being very negative on it, and like, I know a lot of people are like, "Whoa, this is Nintendo. Nintendo's this is the one everyone's gonna like," and blah blah blah. No, that's fine. If if you like it, that's great. I would 100% roll with that and keep going and purchase it. Like, I'm gonna purchase it. I'm sure, it's gonna be great. Like the Wii U. That's great. The Wii U is fucking great if if you let it be great, you know, if you actually decide to use it and play the games that are on it and you know, actually open your mind a little bit. It, it, it is. It's pretty fucking decent. It's a pretty decent machine. It's a shame it's... <clears throat> it's a shame that it's what it is, you know? Like, it has been... It has been kind of shortchanged, like, if that makes sense. Like there is, it, it kind of has been shortchanged. Like the Wii U, it, it, people kind of all backed out because they kind of, because Nintendo keep forcing it on them, right? Like they keep forcing it on people where it's like, hey, this is our new thing. You want to play our new thing. You want to use this gamepad in an innovative way. And they're like, no, we don't want to use your gamepad in an innovative way. We don't give a fuck about using your iPad. And I think that obviously um, dampened a lot of developers because they were like, "I don't want to use, your <laughs> I don't want to use it, and your machine isn't powerful enough to run the other thing." So now there's this, which is it's not going to be as strong as a PlayStation Four or an Xbox uh, One because it's just not going to be because it's it's half portable and. Like, it does look good. I'm not saying it does look, doesn't look good. It, apparently, it runs Skyrim, which is good. I mean, it's a pretty old game by now. Uh, so, like, I mean, I guess. Like, you know. I mean, well, it's, I say it runs Skyrim. I mean, Bethesda claimed that it's not scheduled. Because I know, I don't, I fucking, I don't know what's going on at Bethesda either. Like, the, like it's... They're saying it's not confirmed for the Nintendo Switch, even though Nintendo used it in their trailer quite heavily. Like, I don't believe Nintendo would use it in their trailer quite so heavily if it wasn't... If it wasn't coming to them, right? Like, that would be stupid. Why would you use it otherwise? So, I'm not entirely... I'm not entirely sure on that, either. It is... it's all very odd. The... I don't know, the is... I love Nintendo, and I love... I love their games. I love... Nintendo's first party games are fucking great. And... I'll say it... I've said it once, I'll say it again. The GameCube is their best machine. Because it was, it was just like, hey, look, this is a gaming machine. It's got Mario. It's got Metroid. It's got this is Star Fox. You know, it's like, here, here's all these cool stuff. And this is just what it is. It's like, look, here's Luigi's Mansion. You know, here's, here's this. Here's this. It just kept giving you stuff. 
It was like, yeah, this is great. Plus, other stuff worked on it. Again, they had to go with their own fucking disc set, which put a bunch of people off. Because, like, why use a why use a unique disc system? I, I don't... What the fuck is it? Is this a bonus stage? This is the biggest bonus stage I've ever seen in my freaking life. Um, so, you know, it's like... I don't know why they just don't make a powerful machine and then add their gimmicky shit on top. You know, if they want to like do like, hey look, this is super powerful and you can then take it on the road, that's great. If you, you know, you don't, just stop doing weird shit, especially competing with yourself. Like, I don't understand that. I really, really don't understand that. And I mean, if someone else, if, if you guys, if one of you guys gets it, then please, please tell me. But I don't get it. I just don't, I just don't understand it. It's like, I'm sure it's gonna be good. And once we find out a price, uh, a price and a, um, Bat uh, an actual battery life. I'd, I heard three hours, but I'm not sure if that's factual. So, you know, that's that's fine. If it's three hours, then I'm sorry, it's garbage. Like, the fuck is that? You ain't gonna go any You ain't gonna get to go on a plane in fucking three hours. You gotta be there three hours before your fucking plane takes off. What good is it? What good is it if it's dead before you get on the plane? You know, that's that's not that's not useful. That's... It's just not. And I don't know, I feel like I feel like it's it's odd that they would do that. And it's it's fine if they want to do it and it works, and it's beautiful and I can continue to play my Mario's, my Zelda's, my my all my stuff, then fucking great. Then by all means Nintendo, you go right the fucking head and you do your thing. Because you make great first first party games and I want you to continue to do that. But that's what that's pretty much it, you know. Like I'm never gonna buy an I'm never gonna buy a Nintendo machine. To I'm never gonna buy a Nintendo machine to like play the new Metal Gear Solid, you know. I'm never gonna. Well, I say Metal Gear Solid. No one's gonna buy the new. Well, some people will buy the new Metal Gear Solid. Uh, whether it be any good or not, it's never matter. I mean, it's like I'm not gonna buy it to play the new Elder Scrolls on it. I'm not gonna buy it to play the new Fallout, the new. The new hip game because it's going to be on out on the PlayStation. It's going to be out on the thing with a controller that's better. You know, I don't. I, I buy a Nintendo and I play Nintendo to play Nintendo. You buy it because it's the only place you can get Mario and Animal Crossing and fucking you know Metroid. As you should get Star Fox and all that. And. That's what's that's and that's what I think they should be focusing on, which they which they did in that trailer. Except from Skyrim, they were like, "Hey, look, here's Splatoon. Hey, look, here's fucking a new Mario. Hey, look, here's here's this. You know, which is great. Which is exactly what they should be doing. They should be focusing on that and using that as a, a selling point, essentially. But I don't know. I just don't. I just wish they weren't competing with themselves. That's. So unbelievably stupid that I don't actually understand it. Like it actually, it actually makes me angry. It's like I don't. It shouldn't, right? It shouldn't make me angry. It shouldn't make me angry, upset. Because it's like, who gives a shit? It's not your company. But it, it does, man. It's like I care so much about Nintendo. I care so much about Pokemon and Mario and Zelda. I care so much about these franchises. That I'm angry that something is trying to like. I don't know, it's it's bizarre. It's bizarre. Like if you if you understand it, please let me know. I'd love for you to do that. That would be great. I'm sure it's gonna be great, and I'm gonna play The fuck why does it dodge? Oh, I see. I need to take out one of these, really. Do you reckon I can? 
Give him negative 100. Um, okay, I'll tell you what. Let's get out. Let's go. So, yeah, let's pick that up. And let's throw it here for now. As that's now it's negative 50. I need you to destroy these three. Can you do that? You can. Beautiful. I was killing all the colors before. Oh. That's annoying. So I mean, it's fine. I'm sure. I'm sure it'd be great. I'm sure the Nintendo Switch would be great. Uh, I do. Also, the box, right? All right. Can I just take a second to to like think? Like I'm. I'm not exactly like a clean freak. I'm not exactly like that sort of person. But at the same time. Why can the very top of the touch screen of the of the tablet even be seen whilst it's in its like docking bay while it's like in its TV part? Why can you see it? Like it, it should be completely hidden, completely. Because now what I'm going to be thinking is that how. Not only can I see that, it's like, it's the, the only bit that's going to get dusty and dirty because the rest of it is concealed. Like, I don't, so I, I don't, I don't understand that either, but like, as long as, as long as it keeps bringing me the Nintendo games that it always has been and the Nintendo games that I love. I'm gonna have no quarrels with it and I'm gonna buy it, you know? So, I'm sure it'll be great. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the Nintendo Switch. Uh, if you're on the same boat as me, like, sure, another Nintendo console, we'll buy it because it's Nintendo and that's what we do. Or are you like, well actually it's, it's kind of stupid or, you know, do you agree that they're competing with themselves? Uh, is this is this meant to like is it meant to take away the 3ds so we don't need a 3ds so we buy this and we use this all the time because we've because I don't see them doing that I don't see them giving up another market that they pretty much own you know, they own the, mo the the portable market except from the Vita and the Vita is a great piece of kit to use the back pad's stupid and it's got crap and it's not got well it's not got crap games, it's not got a lot of games. It's a great machine that we should just have a bigger library. Uh, of unique games, I know it has like the whole backlog of PlayStation 1 games, which is fantastic. Like the Vita, the Vita is great, and I would recommend the Vita, but if you want like new original games, it's got about as great of a library as the Wii U, you know what I mean? So, oh. We're getting all the treats, aren't we? Look at this. Trees and fish. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of that. And let me know if your opinion on Pokemon has suddenly changed at all. If you have changed your uh, starting Pokemon or anything like that. And I think last but not least, uh, like Halloween. Oh, like the things I wanted to talk about. Uh, Halloween's today. <laughs> like this should have been like a Halloween special, I guess. But I'm not really super into Halloween. We did do a couple of. Halloween uh, specials. The one that went up last night and one which will go up uh, probably in a couple of hours. If you're watching this dead on its launch, so it's probably already up. Um, it, they were fun. They were funny to do. They didn't turn. Out, I, I apologized at the end of it because it wasn't actually that scary. Like it turned out to be really not scary at all. But uh, you know, it's it was that was kind of to be expected in a, in a way. Uh, it's Halloween is a... I don't know. It's just a day that exists. Like I know people. People like just any day that's to do with a um, just an excuse. You know what I mean? Like New Year's. I'm not a fan of New Year's either. Generally because it just feels like an excuse just to have a party. 
Same with birthdays, it's like, hey look, you're a year older, <laughs> good job, right, let's have a big old party. It's like, I don't really give a shit. It's like, don't, don't celebrate my birthday, like, fuck off. <laughs> you know, like, that sort of thing. Um, I mean, I end up having, like, my days off on my birthday anyway, because, like, my sister always wants to do something, or, you know, you know my sister has made some sort of plans or that, but it's like, it's never been something that I've particularly enjoyed or wanted to be. Part of even when I was a kid, like my mother, my mother always loves telling the story. It's like when um, she had like a bunch of school children round for like a birthday party, and they all sang "Happy Birthday," and I just like cried and ran out of the room because I just didn't want to be a part of it. Like she, she loves that story. It's like I don't fucking. So I just, I just don't like it. I just don't like birthdays in general. I think they're silly. Uh, I see. I is I love getting other people birthday presents though. Like, if it's their birthday, I'm like, yeah, what's well, so I get them for their birthday? <laughs> but I I just hate the actual day of myself, I don't know. That's not important. And the, um, but Halloween itself, uh, you know, there's trick-or-treating, and there's uh, Halloween parties and stuff like that. Just, if you do that, if you go to, like, a Halloween party, or if you go to this or whatever, you know, just... Just fucking be careful, you know what I mean? Like, because I know there's, I know there's like a lot of, um... To explain this, I know there's like a lot of... I don't want to say like... <laughs> I don't want to like bring up bad shit, but what I'm saying is like, there's fucking a lot of weirdos out there. There's a lot of fucking weirdos and a lot of fucking freaks. So be careful when you're like knocking on strangers' fucking doors. Don't go on your own. Go with friends. You know, make sure. Make sure you know if you're with friends, make sure you know where your friends are. You know, look after them as well as them look after you. You know what I mean? Like I know I shouldn't have to be saying this. I know you're all grown adults and what you do, what the fuck you want to do. But it's like just, just fucking be safe. You know what I mean? Because there are weirdos out there, right? Like, I've never, I've never ever been trick or treating. Not once in my life. I've never been trick or treating. But it's, again, it's something, even as a kid, I'd be like, nah, not my thing. I'm not gonna do it. If I want candy, I'll just go buy a pack from the store. I ain't fucking going trick or treating for a shit. You know what I mean? Like, that ain't. That's not my thing. I've never been. And, you know, maybe that's something to do. <coughs> Sorry. Maybe that is something to do with my um, lack of appreciation for the holiday, I guess. But, um, I don't see that's not exactly what it was originally based upon either. So it's like it's hard, to, like when it's not even about the thing, right? It's kind of like Christmas. Like a lot of people will be like, "Hey, Christmas is about like Jesus and stuff," and it's just like I don't give a shit. Christmas is not about that for me. Christmas is like about me, just buying lots of presents for my nephew and nieces and like watching them open them and watching them play with it you know like that's what Christmas is it's not it's not anything else it's just a time where you buy each other gifts and shit and piss around that's what that's what it is and again it's like an excuse right it's an excuse to have a um have a party or a uh, celebration or whatever it's fine and I, I don't feel like it's about Christmas I mean I know it's about like Jesus and God for like the more religious people, and that's great. Uh, they can do that. They can do that and have their have their fun. But it's definitely like I love Christmas, but I love it because it's it's actually a surprising time where a lot of people are actually happy. You know, so that's what that is. But um, yeah, if Halloween, if you're going out celebrating, or if you're lighting fireworks like those people behind outside my house are doing. Just fucking be careful, cause dangerous. Again, they're dangerous, right? I know I shouldn't have to say it, and I know you're grown people, and I know you know what you're doing. Just take it as a reminder. Be careful, and no matter what you're doing. There's a lot of weirdos. Remember that. Uh, other than that, have a great have a great Halloween. Holy shit, we cleared thirty floors. No way. We cleared thirty floors. I feel like I was only cleared twenty. Holy shit. 
fucking talked up a storm about the Nintendo. That's how passionate I am about Nintendo. Let's fix you up. Let's heal ourselves. I love right Oh, gifty gifts. Oh, it's just muscle. I don't want a muscle. I want like this thing. Or this thing. These things are probably cool. God damn it. What about the Iron World? Have we got any new gifts in the Iron World yet? Gift? No. I mean, we're almost there. We're almost there another gift, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, what do you think of Nintendo Switch? Um, leave that in the comments down below. As always, there are buttons below that you can press as well if you do enjoy the show. And, once again, be careful. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.